Hello and welcome to Arca at Twin Ring Motegi. We've actually been able to make the Monday night race. This is the first race of the week here in Arca, and we've got Gavin, Nick, and a whole bunch of guys we recognize. So I'm very excited. It's a very uh, rare off day on a Monday for me. Pretty much never happens, but uh, I'm thrilled because I get to uh, come out here and race a 4,000 strength of field. And it's not 2 a.m. <laughs> and uh, I'll get to find out that uh, I'm actually really, really slow, probably. Because <laughs> there's a lot of fast guys in here. But uh, I'll give it my best. I love Twin Ring. I'm so happy to be here. This uh, I'm going to miss this place when it inevitably disappears for another 28 years from schedules after this. But uh, it's been a great run the past couple of seasons doing the oval and then that uh, very unique road course as well for the one event. For now, I'm going to be focusing on this Q-Lab. Not my best, not my happiest, not the greatest. That really stunk actually. Holy cow, I'm loose up here. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> Leave it to me to mess up when it matters most. So we're going to just get uh, another run of the line here. Maybe the tires will be a little warmer now for lap two. Maybe I will not overdrive it this time around. 14th. You've just done a 57.8. Okay, that was a little more acceptable, but I have to hit turns three and four now, which are pretty darn tricky. Gonna be shifting in three and four. I really like the runoff it gives you, plus potentially on the right rear more, doing that. So that'll thankfully improve my starting position by quite a bit, going from 18th to 3rd. And uh, we've got Arca Wiz, <laughs> Justin Yee up in 1st. And James Laubach, very fast as always, there in P2. There's a dog barking outside. Uh, we can just pretend that it is a uh, bring your dog to the racetrack event here in Japan. <laughs> I don't recognize the 17, Zach Zaldivar, that's a cool name. He is right behind us by just a couple of thousandths. So, really cool to see uh, so many familiar names. So happy I can participate in this one. Both Gavin and Nick look pretty fast too, 6th and 7th. Okay, and we're just waiting on Derek Justice, who's probably going to take the poll. Uh, if I know him, looks like he got in a little late. He is presumably taking the first lap. Easy, maybe letting the tires warm up without wearing them. And I imagine we're going to see him jump up pretty high. So, uh, just so many names in here. I would say hi to everyone individually, but I would miss the start of the race probably. <laughs> Like, I've talked to Justin before, James, I know Jordan's kind of part of the larger Nick Gavin community there. Oh, okay, well, Derek Justice is down there. I was wrong. Lewandowski, I don't know, 11th, too. I guess everybody has a little less experience, maybe, at this track. But, like, you got uh, G other Gavin, as he's referred to, <laughs> who's uh, also got his own channel. Yeah, Austin, he's got, uh, what was his channel? It's like Armed for Gaming, Armed for Racing, or something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't remember exactly. And then Shane, and like like I said, just so many people. So let me make sure all my settings are correct. Looks like we are... I have my first class, man. I'm a little off. I see. He didn't get any practice in. That makes sense. So, I'm going to do session last lap. I'm actually going to put the brake bias all the way back, trying to get as much turn into the corner 
uh, as I can. Heading Good luck in the race, everybody. everybody. I'll send a nice good luck. Oh, I wish I could be here more often, but I, I already told my work, like, hey, I need Sundays off, please. <laughs> I didn't tell them it was to be in a league, a sim racing league, but I was like, hey, could you do this for me? And they said, yeah, sure. Like a pretty, 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 pretty bad. bad. You don't get any Hopefully I'll be able to make that one as well. Never able to do any of them there. Yeah, so many familiar faces in here. It really does look like it's just another league race. Which is uh, exactly where we're going next. Since we're following the real oh, yeah, Argus schedule. The, the videos from it. it like or the, the official race. Argus schedule, not the real life schedule. With how the, uh, uh, hosted, or not on the Believe it or not, uh, Ark is not going to Japan this year. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun to see, but they are not going to be at Twin Ring this year. Second gear start looks like. So I just muted them for a second so I can gather my thoughts. And we should be ready to go. 30 laps here at Twin Ring. It's a little shorter than last time. Which is interesting to note. Still going to want to try to be nice to the tires if possible. Traditionally, it's a bit tough to pass here. So I think the way you want to do that is by keeping the tires good and then maybe getting someone uh, out of the corner, being able to drive in, drive out of the corner a little lower than they can. Get ready, going green. Going off P3. Oh, he's going real quick. Thankfully, I was not taking a nap. Could have been better, could have been worse, but I'll take it. Very loose, very loose. I'm gonna give him the top up there, of course. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Nice and easy. Still there. Hold your line. Third gear. I like it. Still there. Hold Get us a line. little bit of a run. We are clear. He might not like this, but I got to do it. <laughs> I know that was a little close, but we were clear. Car outside. He's going to try on our outside. I don't think outside. he's going to be able to pull that off, though. Don't want to waste too much time side by side if I can avoid it. Gavin, already moving forward. I see him back there. I see ya. I'm hoping uh, third gear not only will get me that run, but also might help me. Uh, Put on the right rear. I think I've said something to that effect already, but I think that could be pretty crucial. Happy with my run through one and two there. I usually break between the 100 and the 150 marker, and it's a nice big braking zone. Gotta slow down. Pretty good. The bottom there feels pretty good. Easy on the throttle here. Turn one and two are so long. It feels like you're turning forever, so you really got to wait to get back on that throttle. So you're at least halfway through the corner, or, or uh, at least somewhat close to that, before you uh, start getting on the gas. Got a little bit too loose there. Figured it out though. Whew. Breathe, breathe, breathe.
Hopefully, my, hopefully I'm being okay with my tires. Gavin, it looks like he's driving in a little harder into three. I think I'm okay with where I'm backing it up to, though. So that is definitely one, the one spot on the track you can really uh, make a difference in tire wear. Turns one and two, you can definitely burn it off as well. But not as much you can do about it since you kind of just have to go. <laughs> There's no braking involved there. But in third and four, you got your braking zone. So it's a lot more you can uh, say about it. Not being as smooth as I would like, though. A little bit too much car movement. Ooh, three and four there. Alright. Go through there. Felt nice and smooth. Come on. I'm stinking through three and four right now. <clears throat> I gotta execute better than that. Wasn't even that good of a one and two. I think Gavin might have almost gotten a wall there, though. That was a little bit better that time. Still not great, though. Might still be getting on gas a little bit early. 3 1 and 2. I might have to watch out for that. Larry Pace passed Gavin back there. He's going to be heading our way. He's always very fast. Or at least most of the time. <laughs> Especially on these mega tracks. He's going to be one to beat. So, gotta watch out. Messed up that corner. Don't look. Look away. That was ugly. Just gonna throw away about a half tent for no reason. All right, where we are. Third of the way through the race. That completes ten laps. Justin Yee out there. Doing some domination at the moment. We'll see if he's able to do that while saving tires or not. That'll become apparent. Probably about lap 20, if I had to guess. As much turn as I would have liked there. That was a terrible 3 and 4. Dang. That lap was at 27.8. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Guessed it up a little bit too much there, mid corner. Able to pull it back to get an okay runoff. Not perfect. Larry behind drove in harder than I was wanting to and kind of scared me a little bit, got me off my brakes, and I overdrove it. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing, not what he's doing.
2.6 to the liter, one second ahead, second. We are definitely going to get passed by Larry. Again, not really a surprise there. Kind of stating the obvious. <laughs> Losing grip. Might not have done a very good job of saving my tires this race. He's looking inside. Is he there? He is there. Still inside. 1.0 seconds. Clear inside. Trying not to lose any time, letting him by. You recognized that I made it easy on him. It's a uh, no-brainer move for me, because fighting him's only going to make us both slower. Man, he's driving in so much harder. I don't know how he's getting away with doing that. Who knows if shifting is really the right move? I like the way it feels, but I'm also very... I just enjoy shifting at decks like this. I enjoy sh like shifting on ovals in general. It's kind of weird, but I just... I like the way it feels. I like that it gives me an extra way to get on the right rear. Just uh, not driving the best right now. Could use some more practice, to be honest. Also, doesn't help that my uh, computer has turned into a slideshow. Not quite that bad, but my frames have dropped for some reason. And uh, that doesn't help. I don't know why the frames are getting weird. But even the little things like that can kind of throw you off. Probably scaring Gavin getting sideways like that. He's gonna be on my inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still inside. Still inside. Don't really want to be freight trained here, but I might not have choice. Clear. I need to be more gentle out of three. I have to stop getting sideways. B6, your last lap time was at 38.5. <laughs> I might just follow Derek Justice through, pass Gavin again. I'm sure he will not appreciate that, but... I'm sorry, Gavin. I love you. You do not want to be stuck on the outside, out here, in turns one and two. Like, you might be able to hang on there, but it'll really hurt your tires doing it, so it's probably a good idea to back off like you did. Okay, I think I might be able to do a little better as so long as I stop getting too loose out of turn four. Uh, 
got to get this thing under control. Gavin's coming back though, he's definitely doing better with tire saving and such. Oh! Justice in the wall, that is not expected. It's a rare mistake out of him. Not gonna get too much ground made up on him though. He's gonna gain it all back anyway. Gavin's upset at me, I think. He wants to get by. I didn't shift fast enough there. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Inside. Go around me again. Clear. Inside. Stay high. Stay high. I will not be fighting him. Inside. Could have handled that a little bit cleaner, but I did not want to be alongside him for too long. I've already been a big enough headache for him. He's clearly faster. Clearly has done a better job of saving his tires, so I don't want to hold him up any longer. I think I need to be hitting my brakes harder into turn three. I think that might be part of my problem here. Nick back there in ninth at the moment, right around Lewandowski. Having a little high on entry right there. Maybe he's gonna get a nice run off though. I'm feeling really tight all of a sudden. That was not a great corner for me. Smooth there. We have five to go. You got five left to go. That was at thirty-eight point five. That felt like a really good corner. At least compared to last lap. Last lap was a really bad corner. We got a nice gap behind to the 17. Hopefully we can keep a hold of that. Gavin is going to continue driving away though. He's got this pretty well figured out. I wonder uh, how many other people are shifting. Gavin in the wall. I won't say anything about that. We know, we know the joke. At least one I race. <laughs> they're really falling off behind us. 1.3. I think maybe they're just battling though. I don't think they're actually falling off all that hard. I think it's more like they're battling. Either way, it helps us. You've got two laps to go. Two to go. Man, Justin has just absolutely killed it this race. He's gonna lead every lap, it looks two like. Left. You're 
lap time was 38.6. Alright Colton, that's good consistency, keep it up. So we got space both in front of and behind. Sixth place, the gap in front is now 1.0 seconds. One flag this time. One more to go. White flag, one more lap. Man, if this race were longer, Gavin might charge up there and fight for second, maybe even more. He's had a fantastic run. Photo finish for second, maybe up there? Hard to tell from here, but we will pull it into sixth place. We've had a very good race. That was a lot of fun. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Good win. You, we had nothing for you. North run, solid wood. Yeah, good win. Great race, guys. Nice race, guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is my favorite track to drive. Maybe not the best race, race, but just getting this started so satisfying. Uh, it's such a fun track. I love it. What? <laughs> All right. That was a lot of fun. Love this track. You give Gavin a nice top five. I wasn't big base thorn. <laughs> okay, he got what I meant. <laughs> now you're good at racing. That was fun. Yeah, I felt like I was holding him up a little bit. <laughs> but it's uh, 65.75. I will compare mine to others, but it's probably pretty bad. 65.75. Uh, okay. Definitely guys like Justin up there. Zero X through the field. This place is great. This is like a Nashville Super Speedway in the way that uh, it really promotes clean racing. You don't get too many wreck fests here. All right. So that'll actually bring me to 5,000 I rating uh, with a plus 31. I will now have 5,029. Uh, I'm ready to lose it the next race I do, but hey, that's the first time I've ever reached uh, 5k, so that's really fun and neat for what it is. And we will go ahead and <laughs> join shoutouts of you for not wrecking everyone on turn one again. It happens. I saw him do that that uh, last race. But it happens. So, incidents. Not going to get too many. All the way to the last lap already, and it's Nick. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That was a major... Did he break his car? Oh, that's heartbreaking. He was going for a top 10? He's going to be mad at himself for that one. He just lost, what, like three spots there? Spoilers for his video, I guess. I'm sorry. But um, he's going to be mad at himself for doing that. And just to get so there's no incident, there's basically no incidents. If Nick hadn't done that, there would be literally no incidents. That's insane. What a race. That was a lot of fun. Justin gets the win. Like I said, Arca Car Wiz are <laughs> up there. Uh, Larry Pace, as usual, crazy fast. James with an amazing run to get podium. Justice charges through the field. He is a pro driver for a reason. Gavin had an amazing run in the top five, and uh, we fall back a little bit. Um, 
sixth place after starting third, but that is a perfectly acceptable run for me. Especially as the seven and a 4K strength of field. I'm going to ask Stuart's question here. So I'm just going to give my opinion on that since he's asking. Um, but that'll do it for this video. Got to ride the Monday night. Um, and it was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Wish I could do it more often. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree with Justin. Uh, you do kind of shift like weirdly late in the corner. <laughs> Short shifting four wheel sides and kills tires. Interesting. That's good to know. I didn't know that was a thing that happened. So, um, so I, I would like to shift, but definitely maybe uh, wait longer to the corner. Huh. All right, that'll do it. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope to see you again soon for some more races this week. Hopefully it'll be a, a more busy week for me. So I hope to see you there.